what? Zero. <laughs> Zero. Yeah. Mm. Okay. You see, Chit Chat with JP is a program that talks about single, yeah. relationship, growth, uh -huh. development, uh -huh. and lots more. So sit back mm -hmm. to enjoy these wonderful episodes. Yes. So. Hmm. And don't forget to like. Mm. Share. Mm -hmm. Call your neighbors. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah. Right there. Mm -hmm. And enjoy. Yes. Yeah, so comment section. We want to add your feedback. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, I am fighting with you. Eh? What happened? Ah. I'm fighting with you. Ah, ah. Hey. What did I do? Maybe they should show us. Okay. I have three sister Joyce. Now. I have sister Joy a shukufu. I have sister Joy Umbu Freke. I have sister Joy Williams. The three sister Joy are good. They are wonderful and they are perfect. At least. But which of them I'm confused. That is why I'm here. For us to reason together and pray as So what's bad? <laughs> I can't believe that you are telling me that there's nothing bad in what he's doing. <laughs> he has three sisters. Uh -huh. uh, and you should choose the lucky winner. Are you sure you are born again? <laughs> <laughs> you should do. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Stop. No, 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 I disagree. I will not concoct the fact that Brother John is picking three sisters. He's not the AE, they're over them. I don't know, no, no, no. That, that's uncalled for. Brother John does not know exactly what he wants. I think that's what is the problem with him. He knows what he wants. It's just that the three sisters are entering his eyes. So he should perfectly pray to his elder. He should choose the lucky winner. He should do uh, this writing of the, the right, um, names that he wants to do on the paper. Fine. He should just close his eyes to pick more like the lucky winner. There's nothing bad in this. It's a long process of. There's nothing bad in <laughs> So he should be doing a Jehovah is my entire destiny, Abby. The way they were a year, the year is destiny to eternity. And that brings us to the question, what do you want? Personally, you must know what you want for yourself. What makes you happy? What are the things you want from life? What are the things you stand to represent? You need to answer all these questions for yourself. And we are in the place of personal reflection. What you would want and what God wants for you are two different things. You see, spiritually, there are many methods God speaks to us. He speaks to us to the inner witness, his discernment, dreams, revelation. It depends on the method that God speaks to you. You can talk through the word. He has many methods by which he speaks to you. So, and he also makes known the patterns that you should discover. Sometimes you might just be like, I want to be like brother A, because brother A is like this. No, it will, it will make you discover the identity he wants you to have and the pattern by which he wants you to work. On social basis, to be able to achieve what you've discovered for yourself, number one, move with the right people. Mm. Like moving with the right people. Mm. And then you should find a place for mentorship. You should be submissive to receive um, corrections, to receive, um, to be educated. So you should have mentors to be able to achieve your purpose. You have to move away from your what? From your comfort zone. So, and then by doing this, you, you see that you keep increasing. Yeah, and now, as much as you're in your waiting season as a single, the place of marriage comes in. Firstly, we did the personal, the spiritual, the social. Once all of these are intertwined, when you come to the place of marital decision, God will begin to lead you through. Because by that, you would have born the burdens of the Father, the specific burden, the burden that God wants to express through you. So when God brings a partner, he brings someone who is a covenant partner in what God has called you to be. So when the place of marital decision comes, what God wants for you comes to play. And see, most importantly, God doesn't give you what you want. He gives you what you need, what fills that gap in your life. Maybe the Mary and the Joseph, it may be the Isaac and the Baker, it has many things that it can do to you. So you will not be like Brother John who is always doing a UJ, UJ. Over a sister, like you will not be confused. It will be direct and God will help you. You will have your marriage to be something that is worth waiting for. In the parts of career, you have to know what God wants you to do. For example, now, um, Peter, why Peter was a fisherman, God wants you to be a fisher so in the book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 19. So if Peter has denied God's call for him, we won't know anybody called Peter today. We won't know the virtue in him as an apostle. So if 
he has stayed in his comfort zone. If he has stayed, okay, he's contented with what he's doing. He's contented with his business. Okay, he's flourishing his business. He don't have to know what God wants for him. We won't know anybody today, God better. But because he yielded to what God has said, he yielded to the call of God, and boom, we will know what we gained from his life. All right, apart from being in ministry, your ministry can be in the academic world, your ministry can be in the business world, your ministry can be in the fashion world. Just know where God wants you to be. Just know where God wants you to stand in for him. Yeah, so we just want to use this moment to pray for as many people who are in the place of finding themselves. The Bible says that the eyes of your understanding may be enlightened, that you may know the length, the breadth, the depth, the height, and all that it entails. So we ask this day, O oh God, that as many people who are in the place of finding themselves, that by your spirit, you reveal your plans to them in Jesus' name. Amen. Ask, O oh Lord, that by this video, they not just appreciate, they not just like, but indeed they find themselves through their personal reflections, and you indeed make their identities known to them in Jesus' name. Amen. At the end, we ask that we shall have the fullest cause to glorify your holy name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hmm. So we've come to the end of today's show. Yes. Don't forget to like. Yes. Don't forget to comment. Yes. Don't forget to share. Yes. And don't forget that the longest journey is the journey inward. Enjoy. All right. Now, let us go the phone. Ki oluwa ko wa pelu oyin. Ke si se orire. Ki ogo oluwa buyo lara yin. Ke lu la lu yo. Ke gba ogo la. Ke lo sogo. Ko ru ko Jesus.